So keep in mind the background issues surrounding Jared Kushner, and I think this is related, that we just reported when listening to this next story. The Washington Post has confirmed a New York Times report that some of the highest ranking Trump White House appointees put their concerns in writing after President Trump ordered his chief of staff to grant son-in-law and senior advisor Jared Kushner a top secret security clearance overruling intelligence officials and White House counsel. After domestic abuse allegations against then staff secretary Rob Porter, remember that, revealed that scores of officials lacked permanent security clearances, then chief of staff John Kelly ordered a review in February of 2018, downgrading Kushner's clearance and limiting his access to classified information. In May of 2018, the White House Counsel's Office, which at the time was led by Don McGahn, recommended to Trump that Kushner not be given a clearance at top secret level. But the next day, Trump ordered Kelly to grant it to Kushner, to grant it to him anyway. Four people briefed on the matter told this to the New York Times. Trump's decision so troubled senior administration officials that Kelly wrote an internal memo about how he had been ordered to give Kushner the clearance. McGahn also wrote an internal memo outlining the concerns that had been raised about Kushner, including by the CIA, and how McCann had recommended that he not be given a top secret clearance. Now, the White House said last night that they don't comment on security clearances, but the president's reported intervention in the process contradicts both what he and his daughter Ivanka, who is also a senior White House advisor, have said in the last four weeks. You tell General Kelly or anyone else in the White House no, I don't think I have the authority to do that. I'm not sure I do, but I, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't do it. Um, you know, Jared's a good. I, I was, I was never involved with the security. I know that he, you know, just from reading, I know that there was issues back and forth uh, about security for, uh, for numerous people actually, but I don't want to get involved in that stuff. The president had no involvement pertaining to my clearance or my husband's clearance. So no special treatment? No. I mean, Ken Delanian, I mean, it, it's so funny watching the Republicans on Capitol Hill uh, uh, act so shocked and stunned and be mm -hmm. so deeply saddened that Michael Cohen told a couple of lies here. Again, president lies every day, lies repeatedly every day. Uh, lies about North Korean dictators uh, brutalizing and killing an American college student. So he's reckless abroad, and then he's reckless at home. Uh, I mean, I was on the Armed Services Committee. I've been through this process. <laughs> this is a really serious process. And uh, the recklessness and the lying by Ivanka, the lying by Donald Trump show, once again, th they are just extraordinarily reckless people in charge of some of the most sensitive secrets in the United States government. So, Joe, about a month ago, NBC News reported that two career specialists inside the White House took a look at Jared Kushner's application for a top secret clearance and recommended denying it because of some of those foreign influence concerns that you showed earlier. And I'll add one more. Let's not forget, the Washington Post reported that U.S. intelligence picked up uh, information that four countries thought that they could influence Jared Kushner um, through financial or other considerations. That, those were intelligence reports. So all this stuff, all this information was in the hands of these people, and they said, no, he can't have a top secret clearance. And they were overruled by their supervisor. Now, what the Post and the Times are reporting today is that the reason that man overruled these people is because Donald Trump ordered it, and he ordered his White House counsel and his chief of staff to make it happen, and they did. But they memorialized it because they were deeply concerned about it. It's important to note here, Joe, that President Trump had the absolute right, to, legal right to do this. This is a reminder of the awesome power that the American public yeah. have entrusted in Donald J. Trump. Uh, but instead of just owning it and announcing that he was going to do this and override the system because it's his classified information, he lied about it. And his daughter lied about it. And there is a real public policy concern here because even though he had a right to do it, uh, career people have decided that Jared Kushner did not merit the trust to see the nation's secrets, and Donald Trump decided otherwise, and now he's got them. Now, here's an important uh, qualifier, though. The CIA never granted Jared Kushner, our reporting shows, and the Post said this as well, 
The CIA never granted him that SCI designation for sensitive compartmented information. You need that to see CIA source reporting and NSA intercepts, which is really sort of the richest and best intelligence that top officials review. So he doesn't have that, yep. as far as we know, unless the president is handing it to him despite his lack of a clearance. Yeah, I, I, which, of course, Steve Ratner, as reckless as these people have been in the White House over the past two, two and a half years, who knows whether he's do, doing that or not. But I, I am just struck again by hearing Republicans acting so shocked that somebody in front of them had told some lies that while they worship at the feet of a man who lies repeatedly and gets caught in these sort of lies every day, I'll, I'll read you the quotes back. I was never involved in Jared's security. I don't like to get involved with things like that. And Ivanka lying even more, saying, just directly saying, he was never involved in Jared's security clearance or mine, just, again, flat out lies. No, it's quite extraordinary. Usually, if you want to tell a lie, you find some weasel words or you find some way to slightly nuance it in a way that you can later potentially come back and defend it. But when you read the transcript and listen to the audio of that interview with Maggie Haberman and the Times folks, it was just absolutely flat out. Joe, I'd like to come back to one second for something you mentioned and just sort of underscore it a little bit, which is I've been watching this and I have my doubts as a businessman as to exactly what Jared's agenda here is. Jared seems to be spending a lot of time in countries and with people who have a lot of money in Saudi Arabia, in China, in Qatar, and places like that. And I know how this works, and I know how money gets raised from these places, and I sometimes wonder, and I can't prove any of this, that Jared is thinking as much about Jared and the Kushner family and their next life and how they're going to finance their next life and using this in a way as a kind of form of crony capitalism, as a platform from which he's going to build a bunch of relationships with wealthy sovereigns all over the world that he's going to take advantage of uh, in his next life. Well, and Steve, it's a great point because Meek and I actually had grave concerns during the transition and we expressed those concerns Actually, I expressed them to Jared and, yep. and, and to others that he needed to decide whether he was going to work inside the White House or whether he was going to raise money for 666. You couldn't do both, I told him. Stupid me. Little <laughs> did I know but he was can. going to do both. <laughs> His father's doing both. Again, I, and we've talked about this a lot over the past two and a half years. If you don't understand Donald Trump's foreign policy, then follow the money. Yeah. And no, yeah. not the political money. Follow the personal money. Russia, that's all about Donald Trump and the bottom line. His sons, Eric and Fredo, said that they got all of their money, or most of their money, the majority of them, I think it was Fredo who said they get the majority of their money. You mean Don Jr. Okay, Don Jr., same thing. <laughs> uh, get the majority of their money uh, from the Russians. Yeah. And Donald Trump bragged himself about how the Saudis loved to throw, during the campaign, millions and millions of dollars. Why, he thought they might have spent, what, $150 million on Trump toys. Mika, Americans, people who support Trump, people who do not support Trump need to understand America's foreign policy used to be based on other ideas that I, I that I, I just I found you know after three seconds of searching on the Google machine today it's really extraordinary and that was that was again promoting freedom across the globe and standing up to tyranny right now it is all about Donald Trump's bottom line and Mark the date, circle the date, save this tape. You will see, Trump supporters, that he was playing you for a fool all along. It's yeah. all about his money. It's not about your freedom. This is an important conversation. We, we need to note and remember, Joe, Jared's obsession with Rudy Giuliani and also Michael Flynn um, and, and where they both stand right now in this conversation. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.